Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal and I'm doing another one of our how many milk jug videos. This time comparing two rimfire hollow points. So that being in the 17 HMR hollow point and a 22 mag hollow point. I'll zoom you guys in on these in a second so you can get a real clear up close look. But, uh, Tried to make it as close to comparable as I could here. We've got the CCI 17 HMR uh, TNT jacketed hollow point. And then we've got the CCI Maximag hollow point. Um, how heavy are these? 40 grain in the 22 mag and 17 grain in the 17 HMR. Let me zoom you in up close on these rounds here. So there is an up close look at the 17 HMR and the 22 mag there. Like I said, both hollow points try to make it as fair as possible. The whole point of the video is take the 17 HMR against the 22 mag, try to get a dead center shot and see how many milk jugs it takes to stop those rimfire hollow points. So a lot of you guys ask me all the time, what do I like 17 HMR or 22 mag? I like them both. If you're going to twist my arm, I'm probably going to pick the 17 HMR, but in reality, I love them both. They're both awesome. And yeah, I wanted to see what happens with the hollow points. I've never done these with the hollow points. 17 HMR hollow point versus 22 mag hollow point. I'll see what happens. Comment down below how many you think of each it's going to take to catch them. I'm voting two for both. Let's see what happens. Also, I'm going to shoot these at 100 yards. We're not going to like point and blank these. I'm going to shoot them at 100 yards. Assuming I can hit them at 100 yards, we might come up close if I'm missing, but let's see if I can do it at 100 yards. Before we get to try to catching these bullets in these milk jugs, let me tell you about Maxi Squad. Maxi Squad is the only treats that we give our old puppy dog Junior here. He's a 10 year old beagle that we rescued from the pound. But we're going to play a fun game here. We've got a whole bunch of dog treats here from Maxi Squad. And me and my boys are going to play a game on which treat that Junior is going to pick out of all of them. I know he likes them all because I've already given him some, but let me tell you why I like Maxi Squad so much. First of all, it's single ingredient treats for your dog. It's meat. There's no other preservatives or chemicals or dyes or food coloring or anything in there. You don't have to worry. It's good for dogs like Junior that have sensitive stomachs. It's not going to upset his tummy. He's not going to get sick. The treats from Maxi Squad are low in odor too. It says right here on my bag. But I used to work at a grocery store and in the meat department, all the trimmings and all the junk and all the scraps from all the steaks, you know where that scrap went? to the dog treat plant. And let me tell you what, that dump truck where we threw all the meat scraps in, that is the nastiest smelling thing you've ever smelled in your life. But that was a rabbit hole story. Anyways, Maxi Squad, single ingredient, good meat, not the junk like all the other brands put in there. But also, they're packaged 100% in the USA. Can't go wrong with USA products. Also, there's no rawhide in the treats from Maxi Squad, and they promote strong jaws. But I have got a whole pile of different dog treats here. Junior's getting excited. We're going to play a game, me and my boys, this is Jackson and Bobby, and pick which one that Junior is going to pick. What should the winner get, whoever picks the treat that Junior picks? A cupcake? No. How about ice cream? No. What do you want for the prize? Um, I want an M&M. He wants M&M. What do you want? M&M. Okay, the winner, whoever... Wait, no candy. Okay, M&M's and candy. And I'm picking ice cream. Junior already wins because he gets a treat. But I'm going to lay all these treats out, and we're going to see which one that Junior goes and picks out. You think you're going to pick the right one? All right, let me set them all out here. And I almost forgot the best part. If you go to maxisquad.com and use the code HOOTYHOO, they're going to give you a good discount off your order. But I've got some of Junior's favorites laid out right here. Let me show you what we're working with. We have got some bully sticks. Then we have a gullet stick. Then we have a pig ear. 
all dogs love pig ears. And then we have a tripe twist bone there. <laughs> I know he loves all of these because I've already seen him eat every single one of these. But, boys, which one do you think he's going to pick? I think he'll eat this one. Okay, Jackson picks the pig ear. What about you, Robert? The very first one. The first one? The bully stick? Uh -huh. I think he is going to pick... Hmm... I think he's going to pick the gullet stick. So, Bobby picked bully sticks, Daddy picked gullet sticks, and Jackson picked the pig ear. Let's go get Junior and see which one he picks. I'll go get him. Juju, look at the treats. Look at the treats, puppy. What are you going to pick? What are you going to pick? Oh, he's sniffing them out. That one? Oh! Trite bone twist. He went with the trite bone twist. The one that none of us picked. So nobody gets candy. Ah! <laughs> That's crazy. But what are the chances of that? But you guys, don't forget to check out Maxi Squad. Junior loves their treats. If you use the code Hootie Hoo, they're going to give you a discount on your order. Let's go sling some bullets. All right, so here's the setup. We're going to do 17 HMR on the left. 22 mag on the right try to hit them square down the center and catch those hollow points i'm gonna go back there to the 100 yard mark try to hit them dead center cross your fingers uh we don't have to do an extra shot and miss but this is gonna be a whole lot of fun i can't wait to see what happens let's go load them up start with the 17. all right so hopefully i can get a good shot here do 17 HMR first. Focus on that trigger squeeze. Alrighty. Ready to go with the hollow point. Rifle should be pretty near dead on. like I hit right where I was aiming we'll go down there and see if we caught a bullet here in a second now let's go for the 22 mag same thing surely I can hit it uh, just from previous experience this 22 mag is is not as uh, precise I can't shoot as good groups with this as I can the 17 but we're gonna give her all the zooms. Nine powers on this baby. See what she'll do for us here. Come on, baby. You can do it. Hit that milk jug. Looked like a pretty decent hit. Hard to tell from back here exactly what happened, but Let's run down there and see if we caught us some bullets and some milk jugs. I hope we did. Here we go walking up to it. Now how many did we have here? First off, there's a milk jug way over here in the yard. Did we have five or six on everything? I can't remember, but let me set you guys down here on the tripod. Can't remember if we had five or six jugs. Somebody let me know, but Check this out. So this was the 17 HMR. And look at that. The second jug has a hole dead center. So, hmm, interesting. Does it have a hole in the back though? No. A lot of times you can see through the bottom if we caught a bullet. Well, that's some clay there in the corner. Hmm. We're gonna pour that out in a second. But you can see we obviously hit that um, actually you know what that's only a tiny tiny hole I don't know that that's a bullet hole that 17 actually may have exploded in that first jug hmm let's go ahead and pour this one out right now I'm thinking that it's not in here because we couldn't see it from below but we're about to find out Yeah, nothing. 
So that's pretty wild. That I did not expect from the 17 HMR. You saw we had a dead center shot from 100 yards, but apparently that bullet going so fast and so small just poof disintegrates in the first one. Uh, actually, let's look in this one in the yard. Maybe it's inside of it. Never know. Never know. No, there's nothing in there. Hmm. But yeah, there's that dead center shot there, but no bullet to be found. So, at 100 yards, it's safe to say that 17 HMR still has a whole lot of boogie enough to where that thing vaporized and couldn't even get into two milk jugs. But it looks like, from what I'm looking at, the milk jugs for the 22 mag, it's a little bit different story. Let's check it out. Interesting first off that the first jug did not bounce off the table. You can see there on the first one Dead center right there on the label where we hit it exit hole Almost couldn't get any more dead center than that right there. There's the exit hole Let's get on this side so I'm not standing in the shadow Jug number two Entry hole still in the label. Exit hole. Interesting, it split that plastic out. Jug number three. Higher than the label, but still pretty centered on the jug. And there's an exit hole out the back right there. Jug number five. Looks like the bullet's slowing down. Did it come out the back? Hmm. There's a mark there, but I don't know if that means that it came out the back. Because when we look at the last jug, I don't see any marks or anything where that would have been. And there's no water out of it, so let's hold her up. Yep, there's our 22 mag bullet right there in jug number, what is that, number four. Let's pour it out. And remember, these were both CCI hollow points. So as close a comparison as I could have made this, I would not have guessed this result, guys. Somebody watch that bullet make sure we don't lose it. Hey! So, check that out. There is our CCI Maxi Mag 22 Mag or 22 WMR. Pretty neato, huh? But it took four milk jugs to stop it. So even though that baby was a hollow point, you can see the hollow point mushroomed out what it could. Still went through four milk jugs. I would not have guessed that. That's pretty insane. Literally, I would not have guessed that. What did I guess? Two each at the beginning of the video? But hey, that's why we do these videos because more times than not, we have outcomes that are pretty ridiculous that at least me, I would have never guessed. The 17 HMR, that sucker just kablooied the very first jug and vaporized no more bullet. The 22 mag went into four milk jugs. Went a lot further with the hollow point than I would have guessed. But comment down below were you right and give us some more ideas for tests for these rim fires or anything else for that matter you guys don't forget to check out maxisquad.com junior absolutely loves their treats i know your puppy dog will too we'll see y'all on the next one Hoo -hoo.